The time has come. The singer who must unmask is The Swan. Oh, my God! Show some love to The Swan. Congrats to the rest of you. We'll see you in next week's Group C Championships. One more song away from the Super 9, guys. They love you, Swan. No! Oh, Ken Swan! Stretch your stuff one last time. <laughs> With the good comes the bad. You got to be unmasked. But we get to learn who you are, right? You guys excited? Woo! Panel, first, we got to hear your final guesses. You guys ready? I'll go first. No reason to beak around the bush. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Ah. Um, anyway, this uh, lovely actress said she loves Ken, and uh, Ken and her did a film together. And she was in The Vampire Diaries. She was also in Flatliners, the reboot. So there's been a lot of those connections to horror films. I think it is uh, Nino Dubreff. That's a good guess. That's a good guess. guess, yeah. I love how you put all that together, Robin. I've been working on it. I've been working on it. The kind of the energy reminded me of Kristen Bell with tonight's performance, but then just reassessing myself in the clue package, and I'm thinking <laughs> someone who I hadn't thought of in a while, like my co-star in Ride Along 2, she has this kind of energy, and the clue package is made in Japan. She was born in Japan. Okay. There, there's magic fruit in the package. She was a magic mic. I'm going to go with Olivia Munn. Oh, all right, Ken, you're changing it up again. Okay. All right. That's a good all guess. Right. It actually is an okay guess. It's a great guess. Okay, so it said transform in the package. Obviously, we know our Transformer movies. Also, she was in a horror film called Jennifer's Body. Yeah. Okay, oh, yeah. she wore fangs in that horror film. Okay. And aesthetically, with her physique, it would match Megan Fox's physique. And so I'm going to go with Megan Fox. All right, Joel, what about you? I'm going to go back with what I said first, because things like when she said lifted up her family from somewhere frozen, she's from Soviet Ukraine, she's in the movie Black Swan. I did a movie with her, so I think it's Mila Kunis. I still do. And Mila Kunis's neck is three and a half feet long, so she can fit <laughs> in with this costume. That's not bad. There were a lot of clues pointing to Kristen Stewart. Bella Swan in Twilight the vampire clues, of course. And then she played um, Joan Jett, and she sang Joan Jett. There was also angel references, and she was in Charlie's Angels. So I'm sticking with Kristen Stewart. All right. Oh, I'm dying to know who this is. I'm dying to know who this is. OK, panel, you've made your final guesses. Let's see if any of you are even close. It's time for the swan to take it off. Take it off. Never guessing his co-star. This is another Margaret Cho moment. <laughs> Bella, give me my mic back. Bella, go back. Bella. Bella's Bella a friend. She's been on Wild and Out. I felt like, because you kept pecking me, I was like, this is somebody that I know. But uh, why this show? Why, why the Masked Singer? Um, well, because Ken was guessing me as the Flamingo I did. last season, <laughs> yes, yes, and right. uh, I, I retweeted that, and that made me super excited. I started watching the show, and I right. just thought it was so, so amazing, so dope, and, uh, and I was like, let's, let's do that. <laughs> <laughs> Getting in front of people really gets me super nervous, uh, so this was really out of my comfort zone. But I, I honestly, you're talking about being nervous. I, we did not see a trace of that in your performance and your entrance. Everything about it was just on point. I, I really thought you just did an amazing job. Thank you so much. Thank you. What did the, what did the um, vampire and fangs mean? Um, me and my sister own a record label called Filthy Fangs. Mm -hmm. Oh. 
Oh, also, I want to say there's one thing you guys really didn't catch on to. You guys went straight to Kristen Stewart, but it's Bella because she played oh. Bella. Oh. oh my gosh! Ladies and gentlemen, one more time for my friend, Miss Bella Thorne. Yeah. Next week is crunch time. The top three will advance to our Super 9 and meet White Tiger, Kangaroo, Turtle, Kitty, Frog, and Banana. And now, here to perform Unmasked once and for all, the artist formerly known as The Swan. Give it up for Bella Thor.